Ah, the grub and gulp. Never was there a more redundant stop along the path to New Vegas. Because it's just down the road from the 188. Oh, hey, we've got, um, we've got some genuine traveling traders. Or, uh, caravans up here, too. Which are a whole lot better than the, uh, the grub and gulp, because they don't have a lot of caps to deal with. At this point, these traders have, like, 4,000 caps apiece to deal with, so... Uh, that's the mercenary. Hello. Hey there. Need anything? Uh, yeah. Let me see what you got for sale. Sure. Here's what I've got. Okay, Veronica. Let's, um... Get my gun ready, because I know what's coming. Um, let's get your story full circle here. And chat with the, uh, the doctor who's supposed to return to the... Um, this outpost here for the followers of the apocalypse. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh boy. Hello? Hey, you. Sharing knowledge with an outsider organization. I knew Veronica couldn't be trusted. We tracked your movements a long way, but it was worth to catch her in the act. Passing Brotherhood secrets to outsiders is the lowest form of treason. What have you got to say for yourself? Veronica hasn't shared any secrets, and you don't have any proof otherwise. She has made her intentions plain. We will not risk any further damage. In the name of the Elder, I hereby sentence you to death. You like that? Go ahead and... Come on! Veronica, you're in my way! Alright, let's switch the shotgun. Damn. God, I did this. This was my fault. Why didn't I see this coming? Of course they'd track me. Of course they'd assume the worst. Sure, I left them, but that didn't mean I'd ever be free of them. I should have known I was beaten before I began. I just... I had to try, you know? No, Veronica, you can't look at it like that. You don't control the people who did this. No, I don't, do I? If I did, none of this would have happened. I should have left a long time ago. Cut my losses before it came to this. I never stood a chance. Veronica has received the Causeless Rebel perk, which boosts her unarmed attack rate. Damn. Got such a bloodbath in here. Well, I don't like disrespecting the dead, but none of these guys need any of it. Take all of it. Very high quality power armor on these guys. Oop. Okay. Followers armor. 10 millimeters. 45 Ds. I mean, looting the Brotherhood of Steel guys doesn't really bother me so much. It's looting these uh, followers that I kind of feel bad about doing. But at the same time, I mean... Nobody else is going to use it. Uh, Veronica, I need your power armor. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? No, I'm just taking stuff away from you, Veronica. Let's fix stuff. Alright, V. There we go. We're looking spiffy in that, uh, 51B. Alright, let's leave this behind. It's not a place that I want to have to revisit, that's for certain. Well, Veronica, for better, well, there really isn't any for better. It's only for worse. Let's get out of here. Try to leave the memories behind. Horse metal. Oh, we. Alright, so, uh, now... <clears throat> I just need to hop over to Camp McCarran and get another quest full circle. And then I'll head out to uh, another location. Because I've got uh, umpteen bazillion quests still in my Pip-Boy that I need to do. And that's what everything I've been doing thus far has been all about. <clears throat> just um, trying to uh, clean all of the quests out of my Pip-Boy. There's just so much to do. So much to do in this game. Um, 
And, you know, that's, uh, that's a big factor of what makes these, uh, you know, what makes Fallout so great. It's the fact that, you know, you can... You kind of just splash into it like a, like an enormous lake or a, or the ocean or something, and you you hold your breath and you go under, and before you know it, you've been underwater for like eighteen hours, and um, you come, you pop up and you're like, oh my god, what what's happened to the last eighteen hours of my life? They're gone. I mean, I, I don't regret. What the heck did I just kick? It certainly wasn't the box. Anyways. What, what, what happened to the last 18 hours of my life? I... they're gone. I don't regret the fact that they're gone, but what happened to them? It doesn't feel like I was playing this game that long. And that that's an experience that I absolutely love, because that is what we call immersion. An incredibly high level of immersion, where you're just so stuck into the game that you completely forget about the time, you completely for... I mean, it's, it's actually a bit of a bad thing, uh, this. You completely forget about your obligations. You know, it's like, oh, I I was supposed to go to work three hours ago. Jeez, I wonder if my boss is going to be mad about that, you know? And you specifically set your phone to silent because you didn't want to be bothered while you were playing the game. And that's why you didn't hear the alarm go off. That's why you haven't seen, you know, the 28 messages that, you know, you've gotten from your... Oh, sounds... And actually, look, it looks like the, uh, the NCR is having another shootout with the fiends in the ruins over here. I'd get involved, but I got a lot to do, so I'm not gonna... No, I'm not gonna detour. Like I said, I just need to uh, hop into McCarran over here. Which is a little bit further. I'm surprised that they allow the, um... The graffiti on Camp McCarran. Oh! Someone's starting to fight with me. I can't... I cannot abide this. I'm gonna have to blow him up. Ah, oh, crap. That's zero. All right, here we go. We can get a good vat shot in. Veronica, don't you dare steal this, steal this kill. Booyah. All right. Look, ooh, 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 what, what just fell out of the air? Ooh, it's a laser RCW. Those are good. Let's just take everything off this guy. And oh, I got two for one. Take everything off this one. And this one as well. We'll repair the stuff. All right. I hate the long walk in here. All right, Contreras. Wait, I need to get some stuff off Veronica. Sell. Okay, Contreras, let's talk now. So you're back. Contreras, I made my way out to the pawn shop to try to do that deal for you, but... Your contact was pinched. There was a ranger in his place. I took care of him, so nothing is going to come back and bite either of us. But you need to be careful. Good to hear. Well, I'd say you're officially invited to the big kid's table now. My stash is your stash. Oh, and I think you might get more use out of this rifle than I ever will. Enjoy. Well, well. Thank you very much, Sergeant. Now that all of the errands are done, how about you let me see the full supply? Take your pick. Okay. Off into the wasteland again. Lafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. You can always tell whenever a caravan is from Crimson Car uh, You can always tell whenever a delivery uh, group or Crimson or, or a caravan is from the Crimson Caravan because they're always complaining about complaining about how uh, tough of a boss McLafferty is. Personally, I like. I, well, actually, I, I, I was going to say I don't get it, but. Not uh, no, now that I actually think about it. Oh my god. Mines! <laughs> uh, there's more than... Yep, here we go, another one. Just pick all of these up. Did I miss one? Oh, there are more on the other side of the barrier. <laughs> uh, but I was going to say... I don't... I, I, I don't get it. Why, uh... Why are they always saying that... McL McLafferty is such a hard boss? I, I just don't get it. But the minute that I actually thought about it... Yeah, I do get it. McLafferty is all business. That woman has no space for um, fun and games and anything like that. It's just all business with her. So yeah, I do get it. Watch out for McLafferty. She's riding asses again. So, 
All right, here we are, uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters. Now, let us just hop inside. A couple of quests that I can complete here. First, uh, I'm gonna take a couple of steps back and I'll need to equip the camera. Oh, that's Kodak, here we go. I always forget the name of this thing. I'll go ahead and get a snapshot. Uh, Veronica, you can't be in the frame. There we go. Probably not as inspirational as getting the whole bottle, but, you know, close enough. Now all we gotta do is head in. Because I've got all of the bottle caps that I need. Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters. Alright. So... Um... Where to begin? Okay, no, I, I can loot later. There's gonna be a big, long conversation with this creepy thing over here. Uh. Howdy, partner! Welcome to the headquarters of the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company. Wrangle up a stool and listen to old Festus jaw a while. If you and old Festus are old pals, say a command now. Otherwise, say, pleased to meet you, and we'll get acquainted. Or, if you have more important things to do than talk to old Festus, say goodbye. Um, pleased to meet ya. New in town, partner? Well, let old Festus give you the lay of the land. If you're here to redeem your sunset sarsaparilla stars, dump them into the slot in the barrel below and I'll count them up. If you don't know what sunset sarsaparilla stars are, and think old Festus is just shooting his mouth off, say star info. If you're here to challenge old Festus to a game of lucky horseshoes, say I feel lucky. Lastly, if you're here about the health advisory that aired on Channel 6 recently, say silly old advisory. Health report? This is one creepy contraption. Silly old advisory. I'm sorry, I, I didn't quite understand that. Could you repeat it? Uh, silly old advisory. I'm sorry, I didn't quite understand that. Could you repeat it? I said silly old advisory. While Sunset Sarsaparilla is perfectly safe, a recent independent study, whose validity is currently being challenged, Revealed the following. Excessive ingestion of sarsaparilla can lead to deleterious effects, including, but not limited to, kidney damage, nausea, digital numbness, anxiety, loss of visual acuity, dizziness, occasional nosebleeds, joint inflammation, tooth decay, sore throat, Bronchitis, organ rupture, and halitosis. Note that you'd have to drink a heap of Sunset Sarsaparilla to match the quantities used in the study. <laughs> How much, you ask? A lot. A whole hell of a lot. In fact, you'd have to get full as a tick on Sunset Sarsaparilla to even come close. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, partner. And keep drinking Sunset that's a pretty bad list of side effects from a soft drink. Anyway, star info. Oh, new to the hunt, are you? Well, listen carefully, as old Festus don't like to repeat himself. Select sunset sarsaparilla bottles will have special caps with blue stars on them. These caps are known as sunset sarsaparilla stars. Why are these stars there, and what do they mean? Nobody knows, except maybe old Festus. <laughs> Rustle up enough of them and you can win a prize. So get out there and start drinking Sunset Sarsaparilla. Huh. So this is where all the blue stars go. And Festus isn't some sort of a watchman. Just a busted up animatronic. Well, let's get rid of these things. Sunset 
said sarsaparilla. Let's ride on her. And now, without further ado, your prize, the legend of the star. Long ago, people didn't have a heap of choices when it came to soft drinks. It was either water or Nuka-Cola. Now, the threat of legal action forces me to say that Nuka-Cola is a swell beverage, but sometimes people just wanted something different, you know? So one day, a man, a saloon owner in a small town, decided to make a new type of soft drink and asked his patrons what flavor they'd like it to be. After getting no help from them, a stranger at the end of the bar suggested the man make a sarsaparilla-flavored drink. The stranger said he would happily share his family's recipe for the drink on one condition. The condition being that the stranger would be allowed to sample a bottle whenever he liked to ensure the recipe was being followed to the letter. The man happily agreed, thinking the drink would make him rich and the stranger promised to meet him by sundown the next day. The next morning, the sheriff stopped by and reported that the stranger's body was found on the side of the town road. He'd been killed by bandits. The man, cursing his luck, closed the saloon early that day, just as the sun began to set. But after he'd locked the doors, he turned around to find an unfamiliar bottle on the bar with a note beneath it. The note was sealed with blue wax in the shape of a star. Opening it, the man found it contained a recipe for a sarsaparilla-flavored drink. Sampling the bottle's contents and finding it singularly delicious, the man gave silent thanks to his mysterious benefactor wherever he was. Being an honorable man, the saloon owner paid for the stranger's funeral, thinking it was the least he could do to repay him. The saloon owner went on to become rich selling the new drink, and to this day, some bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla have a blue star under their caps. Some say the saloon owner ordered it done in honor of the stranger. Others say it's the stranger sampling the bottles like he promised. Engaging and that's the legend of the store. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you continue enjoying Sunset Sarsaparilla. The hell? That's it? A story? Where the hell's the real prize, you damn pile of plastic and circuits? The Sunset Sarsaparilla Company has received a number of complaints regarding the prize awarded for handing in Sunset Sarsaparilla stars. Therefore, we have seen fit to provide another prize that we feel will placate the most discriminating customer. Just head through the double doors and follow the hallway to your left to the very end. An attendant will be there to present your prize directly. We're at the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company would, once again, like to thank you for your patronage. Okay. Man, there's so much sarsaparilla in here. I swear, I am going to get... Like, I'm just gonna go to town on these. Actually, to be honest, be, I have, uh, I have sun sarsaparilla hot keyed. Actually, it's tucked... Marker number 27438 reporting! There seems to be a malfunction with the light, sir! Wait a minute! You're not my manager! Intruder! Uh oh. Veronica! Come on! Bingo. That's why I love you, Veronica. Well, that and the fact that I gave you that really fancy power fist. But, I've got, uh, I, I, I have Sunset Sarsaparilla hotkeyed at, um, the end of the line on my keyboard. I think I've got it on, um,. I think it's key number eight. You can only have eight hotkeys in this game for some reason. I would much prefer them to allow you to have nine, but, you know, here's what it is. So, I'd, I'd much prefer to have nine hotkeys. can only have... Disappearing box. And, um... Hotkey number eight is Sunset Sarsaparilla. So, whenever I get damaged, 
I like to use the Sunset Sarsaparilla, and the reason why is because, one, uh, the beverage, how much it heals is tied to my survival skill, and my survival skill is something that is uh, really quite high, because I've been putting plenty of points into it. And also, it reduces, you know, drinking a Sunset Sarsaparilla reduces weight in my inventory, which is something I'm always after, you know, just if I can remove, uh, you know, uh, just a single unit of weight, or, you know, a part of a unit, something like that, it's, you know, so much the, the better. So, really, at this point, there's another one on the floor. Okay, this is where the hole goes back into the ground. So... Let's keep searching this top floor. There's a hole. There's a hole in an. Uh, there's a hole in the floor in an office that I'm trying to find. But I mean, I'll, I'll come across it soon enough. As I was saying, though, because I've been popping Sunset Sarsaparilla every single time I need to heal myself, I have one simple statement. I have consumed so much Sarsaparilla, which is no doubt no different from Nuka Cola in its sugar contents. I have to be surprised that my character has not developed type 2 diabetes. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a desperate... I mean... Actually, it makes me wonder if someone has actually introduced a mod that... <laughs> Wouldn't it be ironic if someone's introduced a mod where, where if you drink too many of the soft drinks... Uh, you end up... <laughs> developing diabetes, which is like a major... Um, health debuff in the game. That, 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 I mean, it would be funny in its own right. Not that type 2 diabetes is funny, but in, in a game and as an implementation, as a status debuff, I, I think that that qualifies as being somehow funny, or at least ironic, you know. <clears throat> Anyhow, there doesn't seem to be much of anything up in these upper offices here. Even the desks seem to be empty. Oh, well, at least I got a couple of bottle caps here. I'll tell you what, though, um... I, oh my god, cannot wait for Fallout 4. The more that I, uh, I mean, there's so, there, there are less than 12 weeks at this point until Fallout 4, and I'm so looking forward to it, and every single time I boot up New Vegas here, I'm just so, so excited. Um, it, I, I see things in the game world in New Vegas, and I'm like, oh my god, the way that's gonna work in Fallout 4 will be so great. Let's actually hack into this terminal here. Ah, there we go. Let's read some emails, shall we? What contest? From Nathan Stanley, director of PR. Sir, the rumors of some sort of contest are quickly growing out of control. We're getting flooded with calls and messages asking if it's true we're redeeming bottle caps for prizes. Do you want me to make an official statement denouncing this rumor? Stanley, are you out of your mind? Have you seen the latest sales figures? We're up 300% since the rumors started, and you're asking if I want to make it stop? Please, stop by my office so we can further discuss the issue. While the iron is hot. Marcus, I have a few ideas about how we can turn this whole contest situation to our advantage. I'm going to need you to work with the advertising guys on a very special project. A meeting request will be sent out soon. By the way, how do you feel about cowboys? How's your new toy? From Lucas Nash, VP of Sales, Robco Incorporated. Kenneth, I hope you've been impressed thus far with your recent purchase. Your company has been and continues to be a valued customer. Contact me if you have any questions. Re, how do you like your new toy? Lucas, I couldn't be happier with the performance of the new model. If its current performance is any measure, it promises to reinvent my company's entire distribution network. I'd like to tentatively discuss purchasing a few more in the near future. How soon do you expect more to become available? Let's take the, uh, note here. Oh! Hello! That's leveled me up. Alright, let's, uh... Aha! Alright, so, we'll increase barter. And survival. Get some more into science. And speech. And no perk level. I guess this is it. Not much air left now. Minutes, maybe. And this is what I have to show for it. I guess the joke's on me. Probably shouldn't have killed all those people. Probably should have stayed at home and taken care of my mom. She always used to say people who 
murder and steal. Die bad in the end. Said they. <sighs> hmm. All right, so uh, that note was uh, Alan Marks over in the corner there. Jeez. The sun sets Sasparilla with a deputy badge. So useless. Just as useless as the uh, flippin' story that uh, Festus gives you. Anyhow, um, Alan Marks there, he was mentioned by the, uh, I forget who he was, but there, there's a guy who approaches you very early in the... Ah, uh, crap. There's a guy who approaches you very early in the game, after you start collecting star caps, and he tells you, he basically informs you of what star caps are, the fact that they're really valuable, and he mentions in passing that there's a guy named Alan Marks who, um, has uh, been killing people for star caps. So that's Alan Marks there. That's the full circle story of, you know, the guy who's been hunting. Uh, star caps for a while, so... Harsh. Looks like the prize vault sealed shut. Which is a damn shame that uh, there was no air in it. Alright, here we go. Now, I avoided doing this because I knew that the uh, conversation with Festus was going to take a while, but I need to strip this bottle cap press out for uh, the quest. Okay, grease on the bottle ca uh, cap press is fresh, indicating someone used it. Strip out all the important looking bits. Right, so I got three scrap metal, and uh, that's it for the quest. Now, I think I'll, uh, I mean, there's a whole lot more that I could loot out of this place, but I'm really not too desperately interested. There are also other terminals that I could look in um, for, like, emails and stuff, but I'm done. So, uh, that's, uh, that's it for Sunset Sarsaparilla. All right. Time... Oh, you know what? I just can't... I can't do this no more. Veronica, I... Take off your... Take off your power armor. I want to see your face. Let's talk. Listen. I want to thank you for helping me out. I'm sorry that... things didn't go like I'd hoped. But at least I got the chance to try. At least I know for sure that there was nothing I could do. Thank you for giving me that chance. <sighs> Veronica... I can't change... what's happened to your life. Meeting me has... altered your path. And there's no getting around that. I can't help but feel responsible for what you've experienced. You're a hell of a friend. But... After everything that's happened... I... I feel it's time that we part ways. Why does everyone always say that? <laughs> oh... V. Always got a good sense of humor. I know you'll be alright without me. But, I just think it's time. Okay. Then I guess I'll be back at the 188. Maybe digging in some dirt for scrap metal or something. And now... I'll just have to continue on my own. <laughs>